All right, let's spray paint another custom magazine today. We're going to be using just soap again and some sponges and plastic bag, maybe some, some typical normal stencils, but sponging spray paint directly on guns and magazines is, you know, all the rage right now in the tactical community. But we're going to mix it up. We're gonna sponge on some soap onto our magazine and like before use the soap as a stencil and yeah let's just try some things out all right the first color is going to be some satin italian olive going to cover this first side I did take the spring and follower out of the magazine since we're gonna, we will wash the soap off eventually. All right, let that dry a little bit. I'm going to do two colorways or the same colors, but in different orders. This side, I'm gonna go kind of darker to lighter. I'm gonna flip it over and go kind of lighter to darker. And then you can see for yourselves kind of which direction you might want to take. And also there are no set rules in the order of paint a lot of times. Get creative with it. All right. This green is a little dry now. Now I'm going to use a little bit of this stencil with some matte sand dollar. I don't mind the overspray or the underspray so much. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Cool. For this side, we're gonna start with some pen. Solid coat. All right, now we're going to add some matte coffee bean to this tan using the stencil, kind of the same placement, just. Cool, I'll take that. All right, we put some soap on a little plate. I'm gonna use the plastic shopping bag, kind of bound it up some. Maybe palm size a little bit. And I'm gonna dip in the soap. And I want to keep some of that, some of that. I might have started out with too much soap. I'll kind of play it by ear here. All right. Now I'm going to spray over that with some matte Spanish moss. Should be a bit darker. Now I'm going to take a little bit more soap from our plastic bag and cover just a little more. Not as much as the first time. And the hit some with some Mac coffee bean. Trying to do it so not the whole mag, but trying to get some gradients. 
cool. And we'll let that dry. Or we'll just go ahead and flip it. Got some soap that ran over to this side, that's all right. Now this time I'm gonna use a sponge, an old, old dish sponge. Um, let's see. I think I might kind of fold it in half a little bit. Dip it in some soap. Maybe not too much, you don't want because you want to see some of the pattern from the sponge. Doing about half. Okay. Now we're going to spray it with some chestnut brown. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit more soap on this chestnut brown. I'm going to spray this with some Spanish moss. Nothing, not the whole, not the whole side of this magazine, but just like the last side. Now we're gonna let that dry and then we will rinse the soap off. All right, after the first wash, this was the tan, light colored first. I like that. The other side, dark color first. I really think, I really thought there was supposed to be more difference between these two greens. I used the new can of the Spanish moss. I don't know, it just seems pretty close to the satin Italian Italian olive, but we'll just go with it, see what happens. We're going to just put some soap down and then go with some Italian olive. Try and think of what parts I want to keep. I want to keep some of this brown stencil. And then I'm covering maybe not quite a half. Okay. Nothing too heavy. Take some more soap while the paint's still wet. I'm gonna do bits. With some chestnut brown. Maybe do some kind of stripes, dots. I don't want a lot. All right, that looks good, nice and even. Flip it to the next side. All right, gonna put some soap down, this time with a sponge. All right, I'm gonna hit this with some more sand dollar. Okay, more soap. I'm doing this to keep some more heavier bits of the sand dollar. Back to some chestnut brown. Nothing crazy. We'll let all of this dry and wash it off and we'll have a custom spray painted camo. Again with some dish soap and household items. Perfect. Let's rinse this soapy magazine off. All 
All right, we have our finished dry spray painted magazine with the help of some soap. And I took the tape off of the windows of this P Mag Gen 2 AR Mag. And yeah, as you can see, this kind of goes to show that it doesn't really matter the the order in which you paint a lot of times. So this was the light to dark side. And this was the dark to light side. And remember this side, the dark to light, we used the uh, plastic bag to sponge. And the light to dark side, we used the old dish sponge to sponge the soap on. And yeah, on this side, can't really see the stencil too much right here. Kind of wish I kept some more stencil or maybe sprayed some more stencil on. Um, on the reverse side, I like how this dark brown stencil looks poking through. Adds a little order to the chaos here. But which side do you like more? The dark to light or the light to dark? I think I like the dark to light. I think I like this side a little bit more. But regardless, you know, you can get you can get creative with this guys. You can use different stencils, you can use uh leaves and stuff for a stencil or use no stencil or just use one layer of soap or you know, you can really get creative with this. Um so yeah, thanks for watching. I think I might do this uh I think I might do this soap sponging method on a rifle or a shotgun coming up. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys.